Yorana Manava and Maeva in Tahiti. I'm Lovena and today I'm gonna show you how to make our famous recipe. This is raw fish with coconut milk. We call it poisson cru au lait de coco. I'm gonna smile better later. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna use red tuna. If you don't have red tuna, you can also use fresh salmon, one cucumber, grated coconut to make the coconut milk, tomatoes, limes, a white onion, and for the garnish, I will use salt and white pepper with green onions. Step one, we cut all the vegetables. I start with the white onion. We have to slice it very, very, very thin. Be careful not to cut your fingers. Then I will cut the tomato. If you like to add other vegetables like carrots, you can also. And I will do little cubes. If you don't like tomatoes, you can put them off, but it puts some colors in your recipe. Because tomatoes are very watery, I put them in a strainer so it takes off all the water in it. And then I cut the cucumber. The half of it will be enough for my, for my recipe. Not too much vegetables because we want the taste of the fish and the coconut. You take all of this off and then you peel your cucumber. I like to do this on it to make it a little fancy, fancy. <laughs> and then you slice it. You cut it on an angle. I don't know why, but my mother told me to do this. So always listen to your mother. Then I put them with the tomatoes so they can drain. The vegetables are ready now. Step two, we cut the fish. I take my red tuna. Some people like to cut it in cubes, but for me, I like it when it's sliced. You can little part, big part, it's up to you. The bigger you slice it, the longer it stays fresh in the fridge. Be careful with the flies because they really like the fish. So I add it with the onions. I will add the cucumber and the tomatoes because now they, they drain all their water. So I mix all the vegetables and then we can go to the step three. I'm gonna show you how to make coconut milk with grated coconut. To make the coconut milk, I will use this, and in New Zealand, you can use cheesecloth. You put it in it, then you close it, and you have to be strong. And you do this. And there is my coconut milk. You're done with your coconut milk, and you add it to all the ingredients that you already prepared. Like this. I mix them so the coconut enters every vegetable and the fish. And then I add a little bit of salt mixed with the white pepper. So step four, we add the limes in the recipe. So the acid in the limes will cook the fish. I like it with a lot of limes. I add three for this recipe, but if you want to add more, you can, or less, you can also. We are almost done. We are at step number five, the presentation. I like to put my, my recipe in a coconut shell because it looks more tropical. Don't forget to, to put everything that you prepare. Not too much onions, not too much cucumber, not too much fish. And to finish the garnish, I put the, my, my green onions. 
I like it like that, so I put some in it, like this. Now it's ready to be eaten, and as we say here in Tahiti, Tam Amait A. And one cool tip before we go, cook with love, because when you cook with love, food is more delicious. Give it a go, be creative, and keep it cocoa.